Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. Let's continue our NHL Mount Rushmore series, doing one team daily, going in alphabetical order. Today's team is the St. Louis Blues. The St. Louis Blues inaugural season was the 1967-68 season. Next season will be their 55th in the NHL. Amazingly, the team made the Stanley Cup in each of their first three seasons, but lost all three times. They finally were able to win their first Stanley Cup in the 2018-19 season. In these NHL Mount Rushmore's, I attempt to name the four best players in franchise history. As subjective lists, let me know at the end if you agree, disagree, who you would include. I only look at how the players did for the team I'm doing. So, of course, today, the Blues, um, Bunch of honorable mentions will be mentioned at the end. It uh, wasn't easy to limit to just four guys. I will name the players in alphabetic order by last name. They are not ranked. Let's start with Bernie Federko. Federko was the seventh overall pick by the Blues in the 1976 NHL draft. Was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2002. Federko played each of his first 13 seasons from 1976-77 until the 88-89 season with the Blues. In 927 career regular season games, Federko scored 352 goals, had 721 assists for 1,073 points. Uh, in the 85-86 season, he finished 10th in Hart Trophy voting for league MVP. The season before that, he finished 15th. For Durko, had four seasons with triple digits in points, including three in a row from the 83-84 to 85-86 season. The first of those years, he had a career high of 41 goals. And the middle of those three seasons, he had 73 assists, which tied a career high um, along with the 80-81 season. For Durko, tallied 11 hat tricks while with the team in 91 career playoff games. 35 goals, 66 assists for 101 points. His 21 points led all scores in the 85 in the 1986 NHL playoffs. Federko was named to two All-Star teams. He is 42nd all-time in assists, 60th all-time in points. He played just one final season with the Red Wings to end his career. Federko is Bernie Federko, the first member of the Blues Mount Rushmore. Next. We got the great right winger, Brett Hull. Hull joined the Blues in the 1987-88 season, uh, about three-fourths of the way after starting with the Flames. He stayed with the Blues until the 97-98 season. Inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2009, Hull played 744 regular season games with the Blues, 527 goals, 409 assists, for 936 points in the 1990-91 season. Hull was the Hart Trophy winner as the league's MVP with St. Louis. He also had two finishes of third and sixth in Hart Trophy voting in the 89-90 season. He was named the Lady Bing Trophy winner. Such a gentleman. From 89-90 to 91-92, each of those three seasons, he led the league in goals scored with 72, 86, and 70, respectively. All three of those seasons, he had over 100 points, as well as the 92-93 season. Hull had five straight seasons from 89-90 to 93-94 with at least 54 goals in the playoffs, 11 excuse me, 102 games in the postseason with the Blues, 67 goals, 50 assists for 117 points. Hull had 20, 27 hat tricks while with the franchise um, from 89-90 to 91-92, was named to the NHL's first all-star team all three times. Named to seven all-star teams with the Blues, Brett Hull, the second member of the Blues Mount Rushmore. Next, an all-time great defenseman, Al McGinnis inducted the Hall of Fame in 2007. McGinnis began his Blues tenure in the 94-95 season, his final season in the NHL, still with the Blues in 2003-04. In 613 regular season games with St. Louis, McGinnis scored 127 goals, 325 assists for 452 points, was a plus 132. In the 98-99 season, McGinnis won the Norris Trophy as the league's top defenseman with the Blues. He also had finishes of 2nd, 7th, and 8th twice. 
the year he won the Norris Trophy, finished 10th in Hart Trophy voting, and the year he was runner-up, he finished 6th in Hart Trophy voting. Both those seasons, he was named to the NHL's first All-Star team. He scored 20 goals in the 98-99 season, which was his high with the team. In the 2002-03 season, his 52 assists and 68 points were his highs with the franchise. McGinnis also had two other seasons in which he scored over 60 points in 82 postseason games, 14 goals, 44 assists for 58 points. He did have one hat trick with the team. He was named to six all-star teams with the franchise. Al McGinnis, the third member of the Blues Mount Rushmore. And let's end with yet another defenseman. This one, Chris Pronger. Uh, Pronger was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2015, joined the Blues in the 95-96 season, staying with them until the 2003-04 season. In 598 regular season games, Pronger scored 84 goals, had 272 assists, 356 points, was a plus 140. In the 99-2000 season, Pronger won both the Hart and Norris trophies. Uh, he also had Norris trophy finishes of third twice, fourth, fifth with the Blues. Um, finished 15th in Hart trophy voting in the 98-99 season. Uh, twice with the Blues, he led the league in plus minus in 99-2000, plus 52. 97-98 was a plus 47. His high in goals with the team, he scored 14 goals twice. At 48 assists in the 99-2000 season, the year he won Hart and Norris. Uh, 62 points was his career high. Uh, with St. Louis, he also had a 54-point season and three other seasons of at least 46 points. Pronger was named to the NHL's first All-Star team in his Hart Trophy season and had two other seasons where he was named to the NHL's second All-Star team in 85 playoff games, had 10 goals, 41 assists, 51 points, was a plus 15 with the Blues in the playoffs. Pronger was named the four All-Star games with the franchise. Chris Pronger, the fourth member of the Blues Mount Rushmore. So again, in alphabetical order by last name, we have Bernie Federko, Brett Hull, Al McGinnis, and Chris Pronger. Now normally when a team wins the Stanley Cup, I really like including one guy from at least a Stanley Cup winning team. Of course, the Blues, as I mentioned, won in 2018. Um, I considered Alex Petrangelo very, uh, for a long time, I considered him putting him on. Um, guys like Vladimir Tarasenko and Ryan O'Reilly are still active with the team. So if we were to revisit this in a few years, uh, there's a possibility that they have made their way on. Uh, but other honorable mentions include... Brian Sutter, Keith Kachuk, Gary Younger, Pavel Dimitra, Curtis Joseph, and Brian Elliott. So there you have it, the St. Louis Blues Mount Rushmore. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Again, doing one team daily tomorrow will be the Tampa Bay Lightning, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.